Hello, this is going to be a quick showcase on how to use the Motion Designers Pack in Premiere Pro and After Effects. First, we'll look at one of our full scene templates and how to modify them. Here, we have an empty timeline in Premiere, and if we want to apply a template, all we need to do is navigate to the extension window, find the template you want, and double click or drag and drop it onto the timeline to apply it. After a short load, the template will appear on the timeline, and to start editing it, just highlight the template, navigate to the extension window, and click the Customizer button. Here, you can change the different aspects of the template, such as the colors, from one simple menu. There's also a tab for editing the text so that you can put in your own custom information. In order to replace the image inside of the template, we need to navigate to the Essential Graphics window, and here you'll see all of the same options as the Customizer window. To change the image, navigate to the right of the placeholder, click on the hamburger icon, select Replace from Explorer, choose the image you want, and you should see it update inside of the template. Now you have this awesome custom template ready to go in just a few steps. Next, we'll look at one of our logo graphics that you can use inside of Premiere. The process is exactly the same, just navigate to the extension window, locate a logo graphic you like, and double click or drag and drop it onto the timeline to apply it. After a short load, it'll appear on the timeline, then you can highlight it and click on the customizer icon in the extension window to begin editing it. Here you have the same color options as before and some extra options for modifying the glow of the logo. You can also change the text in the separate text tab as well. Replacing the logo is the same as replacing any image. Just navigate to the essential graphics window, navigate to the right of the placeholder, click the hamburger icon, replace from explorer, Choose your own custom logo, and it'll update on the preview window. Now you have a professional custom animation with your own personal logo. Next, we'll move over to After Effects and look at one of our full screen story templates. Here, we have an empty After Effects composition, and it's set at a 1080 by 1920 resolution, which is standard for smartphone content. And to apply one of our stories graphics, simply navigate to the extension panel, find the graphic you like, and click the apply button. After a short load, it'll appear on the timeline and you can begin editing. You can do this by double clicking on the graphic in the timeline to open it, then highlighting the customizer layer within. Now when you look at the effect controls panel, you'll see all of the customization options for this graphic and you can change them here. To change the text, simply highlight the text you want to change on the timeline and put in the information that you need. Now you have a custom animated story template to use with your projects and After Effects. Lastly, we'll look at one of our overall FX that you can overlay onto your footage for some awesome results. Here we have a regular empty composition, and we'll start by navigating to the extension window, finding the effect that we want, and clicking the apply button. After a short load, it'll appear on the timeline, and to add your own footage, all you need to do is double click the graphic to open it, then drag and drop your own footage on the bottom of the layer list like this. Now you can see the old movie effect overlaid onto our footage. To customize this effect, highlight the customizer layer, and in the effect controls panel you'll see multiple options, such as disabling the black and white filter, or disabling the film grain. And now just like that, you have an incredible effect overlaid onto your footage in After Effects. Now you know the many different ways you can utilize the Motion Designers Pack in both After Effects and Premiere Pro.